Um, Valerie, I hate to break it to your sister, but yeah, that baby ain't went for them three extra months to come. That baby ready to come out now. That condition lining in. You might want to go ahead and throw that baby shower. Well, I mean, right now, Friday, Monday, you better go ahead and start playing and have it early because that baby said he ready to see his relative and nosy ass Julie. So you might want to go ahead and throw that party now and don't wait. Come on, oh, we got time. She, the baby did six months. Mm -hmm. You finna be surprised when you hear she finna have that baby. So you better go ahead and start um, playing in that baby shower now. Um, Miss Thing. Do you want a healthy baby or a dead baby? I'm just saying. Why? Now she don't want to sign the consent papers. Yeah, it's early. Too early. But people didn't have babies early and they live to be successful or grow up to be successful. Girl, you better go ahead and sign them papers. Lord, she fighting to sign these. Jesus. JJ, talk to that girl, would you? Really? You see the baby ready to come, and you don't want to sign the consent. Lining. Lining. Why make the baby suffer? The baby ready to come out. And the baby ready to see you, girl. Go ahead and sign them consent papers. Hey, if you still guilty over that, what you done to JJ, well, the way you talk to JJ, and the way you tried to get that boy fired, and get that boy sunk to jail, and... Hey, we understand you was mad. You was in your feelings. It was your son. It got the best of you. If that was anybody else's child, and you would, they would have done the same. Hey, that had been so long ago, I forgot when it happened. You'll be all right. You apologize for nothing. You made up for it, for what you did. At least you did um, be man enough to apologize and really, really meant the so. Hey, you're forgiven. You really are, cause like I said, it's understandable. It really was. I can see how you can lose your mind, lose your train of thought, lose your right way of thinking. Go a little cuckoo for what was it? A week you was. I can understand. Anybody can understand that. Wait, 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 wait. Six months in, and you having a baby, and you ain't got no ba- oh, oh, Lonnie, you fucking up. Lonnie, you're fucking up. How you six months in, and you ain't got no- How? Why? Six months in? Not even much a damn- Not even much a- Not even much a pack of pampers? Oh, Lonnie, you ain't Eli fuck- Oh, oh, oh. Thank God for Abe and Julie them. Cause honey, 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 you way off fucking track. Hell, I know people that for the first sign of them pregnant, they go get the baby clothes. The ba oh my gosh. Thank God you do got a, a good family and you for the being to the Horton clan and the Williams fan and the... Williams, Hoare, and all them. Hey, if you already, if you already been a part of the family, so you already joined, you just gonna be tied to the family for real. Now that lining in with um that boy, so Lana, how the hell you ain't got no clothes or nothing at six months? That's all. I, explain that one to me, dear. Hell, I thought J.J. bought enough so when he found out he was the... Well, when he thought he was the daddy, that ain't funny. When he thought he was the fun daddy. But, he, Lana, you fucking up the process. Yes, you're really gonna be a mama. I ain't gonna talk about your adult life. I'ma talk about your parenthood. I hope it's much better than your adulthood. That's all I'ma say, you being a mama. Eli... I got no faith for you, buddy. I'm just hoping Julie or somebody else be your brains for you because you ain't got none. Line, I hope you be a responsible mother. That's absent for too much, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyways. But, yeah, I hope y'all two get y'all acts together. The both of you, not one of you, the both of you. Lord, 
So JJ goes and get food where he ordered his takeout. Jennifer and her brother, Chloe, Eric, them, he tell them what's going on. And now they want, Lord, this would be a party at that damn hospital. Now, what the hell are y'all going for? I understand maybe Jennifer, maybe Lucas, because that's going to be a part of his family. Okay, Ed, wait, you a hoarding too. You got to go too. Chloe, why the hell are you going for some moral support? What you going for some moral support? Really, what the hell are you going for? Eli. And to that baby born... And until you think straight, shut the hell up. Really? Did you really have to have that conversation? We haven't talked about cuss and financial situation or none of that. So what you trying to say? You want a DNA test to see if that's your child or no? Eli, if you don't hush, I, you either need to hush or just sit there and look foolish. Which one you prefer? Because I prefer the looking foolish. Then opening your mouth. Eli, hush boy. So is we having a vision or a dream about JJ being the father or are we reliving these months that you lied to that boy? Which one is the lining? I'm still confused. I'm waiting to see what waiting to see which one it is. You lying to JJ all this time or you wishing he was the daddy and you was going through this process with him, not the smart one you decided to have sex with. I'm we are waiting to see till about the end or when you start dreaming. <sighs> Eli, Eli, Eli. First you don't like big crowds. Then you make them people feel bad for coming and being there supporting you. Then you hurt their feelings with their food and all. They leave the food saying that was going, oh, now you overreact. And like, you might well get used to your big family. I mean, they come in hordes like that, so your mom's will get used to it. I know you're not used to having a family like that that's always there for you, even when you're doing bad or good. You married into a big family, that's your life now. You might as well deal with it. You didn't got your foot with your feet wet for what six months now, five months now. You didn't been there a couple of a couple of months now, so you should know how they roll. So I don't know why you so surprised by this, but you surprised by this. But okay. Of all the things you can dream about while you getting ready to see your daughter. Yo ho. Yo ho affair with two different men. Ain't this some shit? At a party of all things. Baby shower of all things. Lana, you couldn't dream of nothing else, sweetie. This was your dream. Okay. You have fun with that, I guess. Oh, with a twist. So the secret come out, JJ find out via Gabby, J um, JJ confront Eli and Liney. He say, I forgive you. She said it's his child. He ain't gonna get no DNA test. He forgive her that easily. She ain't crying. A oh, Jesus. Liney, really? That's all I got for you. Really? Oh, that's sweet of you, Eli. You want JJ to be a part of the baby. So, that baby leaves somebody at least smart on his side. Good job, Eli. I will give you that one. Yeah, make sure JJ be a part of this baby live. Um, Lonnie and Eli. Lonnie and Eli. Lonnie and JJ might end up getting back together. Hell, he already a part of the baby live. That baby a Horton regardless, so... He going to be there regardless. I guess you're going to make him the stepdaddy or the uh, god daddy or that's going to be kind of weird knowing he already that baby cousin. So I don't know what kind of kinky shit you talking about, Eli, over there, but I don't want no parts of it. And I'm going to leave you and your thoughts over there. Wait, she fitted that. Oh, 
that'll be very rude. She delivered a baby and she dies. I heard that happen a lot, but yeah, that'll be mess. Oh, Jesus. Lord, I hope she opened her eyes and get out of these damn dreams and come on back to us. At least we need one smart. I ain't gonna need much to do that because the, the child might die, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Oh, wow. So Lonnie and the baby almost died. She made it through. The baby didn't, and it was a boy this whole time, not a girl. Wow. Now, that's really going to mess up their heads for real now. That will mess up my head to hear some news like that. Lord Jesus, help them. That was gloom and bloom. One minute you're happy, the next minute you're sad. You then lost the baby. They held a higher percentage rate, and all of a sudden it dropped down to zero. Who she going to lose her mind when she do wake up? I think Eli and JJ is going to take this pretty hard. Well, Eli going to take it hard. JJ might be a hurt by it a little bit, but I don't think. Well, after them couple of months, she played with him like a fool. It's going to hurt him, too. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.